folks that you know maybe have this passion for music uh, and maybe they decided to study something else and they need to kind of figure out how to get a, a, a good base of knowledge so they can go off and, and, and pivot in their careers. Pro Tools, you'll come out of here uh, a, a pretty strong expert in Pro Tools, uh, but we're also going to teach you know sort of the cutting edge of audio engineering and audio production um, and also I think teach how to keep yourself on that cutting edge. Music managers to become you know, label marketers, uh, you know, social media executives, it really just sort of depends on what your interest is in the music world. Record label jobs, music publishing jobs, uh, you kind of name it. Remote control productions, for example, which is Hans Zimmer's company. Uh, we have folks at Line 6, we have folks at Jingle Punks, which does all sorts of great commercial work. Uh, whereas from the music industry side of things, you've got Sony ATV, you've got Paradigm, you've got William Morris Endeavor. You have a very strong curiosity to find solutions, okay, to deal with some problems. The problems could be marketing problems, branding issues, um, social issues. Okay, we all we all need those kind of talents. As long as you are interested in studying advertising, leadership, management, um, media planning, um, digital branding, um, uh, research and consumer insight. Most of the advertising graduates, they work in advertising agencies such as uh, 360i, uh, Razorfish, Digitas, those um, uh, well-known, uh, specialized, very creative ad agencies. Anyone who really loves thinking about the arts and culture, who likes writing about it, who kind of, uh, we say the kind of people who their friends are done talking about that and want to start talking about the next thing and they're still interested in talking about the concert they just saw or the movie they just watched. Core journalistic skills are a huge part of what we teach here and that is now expanded to include more multi-platform uh, skills so we have students who will work on video and podcasting and uh, graphic design and you know all that comes with it these days. People will still find jobs at newspapers or magazines or websites, um, but we have a lot of students who are also really get excited about writing and thinking about the arts from within the organization. MTV News, we've got people at Google, we've got people at newspapers all around the country, in Mississippi, and Pennsylvania, and, and New York State. Um, a lot of the arts organizations, like the Aspen Music Festival, um, Brooklyn Academy of Music, I mentioned, uh, the Kennedy Center, places like that. People that understand uh, this isn't a career about sitting down in front of a camera and looking good and speaking well. It's a career about devoting the time and energy to follow the news, to dig for facts, to do the research, who wants to go out, meet people, find stories. Writing skills, your news videography skills, the video you shoot, making sure you do good interviews, interviews that yield not only good information, but also the emotional level of a story. Reporters or producers, producers being the people who work behind the scenes and are sort of the quarterback of a newscast. They range from small market TV jobs uh, to students who have only been out for a few years actually working in Washington, D.C. or New York City. Students were interested in merging um, educational ideas with storytelling so they could then focus those stories on populations um, who haven't heard or who have been underrepresented in, in, in stories being told. 
all of the new technologies around social media. You got to learn how to use a camera, um, how to write magazine articles, create websites, um, the latest technologies in animation. Working in um, nonprofit organizations and community-based organizations, some of our graduates have gone on to work in schools, um, teaching um, media education co courses. Some have gone on to be consultants. We have one young man who just got hired by Snapchat. Um, we had one of our students who just got hired at one of the local um, news organizations. One of our students is hired at one of the, the prestigious community-based organizations in New York City, where she's the director of, of media relations. If you're interested in this program, I would suggest that you ask yourself three questions. Do I love to write? Do I read newspapers, magazines, and their digital extensions? And then am I curious about creating content across platforms? Reporting and writing are elemental, but then we also um, provide a range of multimedia training. So learning how to capture and edit audio, how to capture and edit video, how to engage an audience. Reporters and writers, obviously for magazine news and digital extensions. Vogue, um, Condé Nast Traveler, National Geographic, but we also have students who graduate and end up um, doing things like mobile for the Washington Post. If you were an undergraduate who went through a communication program or some kind of business program and you heard about digital media and felt like it was a completely foreign conversation, then you're the ideal candidate for the new media management program because we delve into technology and what those technologies mean for the way we run a modern communication business. Eloquence with media but it's also going to involve some math. So you should be fearless about delving into the underlying structure of things. Constructing new communication products and delivering them to highly segmented, detailed audiences. Alumni of this program go to work at advertising agencies, at marketing firms. Um, we have people who are running the entire marketing program for a Wall Street investment firm. People who apply to this program are interested in the world. They're interested in, uh, in they have international sympathies. They're interested in understanding other cultures. And so if you're interested in changing the world for the better, well, maybe this program's for you. learn how to conduct research, you'll learn how to build communication programs and campaigns, you'll learn how to work with the media. Basically you're going to learn how to open doors of communication and reduce misunderstanding. Government public diplomacy and non-governmental uh, public diplomacy, not NGOs, non-governmental organizations, we have people who've gone back in traditional uh, public relations firms, usually the international side of things. NASA, we have probably five people, I think, at the State Department. There's about five at the World Bank right now. Multimedia Photography and Design Department really draws students who want to be visual communicators, who think of themselves as telling stories or communicating visually with an audience. The ability to technically work with gear, as well as learn the more important thinking process 
of what makes a good image, what makes a good final product if you're a designer, what makes a great story. There's no one specific track that everybody heads to. It really depends on what you're interested in. So we've had students go to the White House. One was asked by Joe Biden to come in and document on video his last four months and then create a film about it. We've had students go to National Geographic, Time Magazine, um, the New York Times. Students who are interested in public relations or communications management should apply to our program, particularly those students who don't have any experience yet because they have subject matter expertise in something else and we can add that professional element to help them be fast-tracked into their careers. Research to writing to design, to even using advanced technologies like virtual reality. You'll have exposure to those great techniques as well as management, all grounded in a solid foundation of theory. Many of our students go to work in agencies. Some go on to work with the government and public affairs with the military. Others go to work for nonprofits and corporations. From the NFL working in communications, NASCAR, some are working out in Hollywood um, in film production companies doing public relations work or in radio doing public relations and promotions work. Other of our students are working some of the major agencies like Edelman or Burson Marsteller. People who are interested in author-centered Television, story, television and film storytelling should apply for this program. Writing classes and learn the, hard, learn the hard skill of writing, screenwriting. If you're a producer, you're going to learn the hard skills of producing. An editor, editing, um, a manager, uh, whether it's a production manager or an executive or an agent, you're going to learn those skills in classes that you uh, gravitate to because the the program is based on elective choices of courses that are of interest to you. Agents to lawyers to uh, producers, directors, editors, uh, sound designers. 80 to 90 percent of, of students, of graduates, will be in their field of study within a year. that are interested in sports that want a career in sports media, whether that's play-by-play, -play, producing, um, production of any sort, uh, writing, documentaries, should definitely think about this concentration. use equipment, understanding um, the live production truck of a live sporting event as well as reporting both in a one-on-one -on -one or a live sporting event or even in a studio. If we have a student that wants to come and learn to be a beat writer, we have the classes for you. If you want to come and learn how to be a live sports producer, we have the classes and equipment for you. Um, if it's play-by-play -play or an analyst, documentarian, we have the classes and the education. We have people at NBA, we have people at ESPN and MLB Network. Play-by-play um, -play people such as Beth Mowens who have gotten her graduate degree here. We have a series of career skills seminars uh, that go over anything that you might need uh, to know career skills wise from a communications industry perspective. This would be things like resumes and cover letter writing, networking, uh, finding an internship, um, interview prep, and then we also meet with students one on one.
Our services here at the CDC are lifelong. Uh, we do a lot over the phone, we do phone appointments, uh, we will review materials over email, uh, whatever works best for that alumnus. It's the loyalty. So people are really looking to help each other out. Uh, we have a wonderful Newhouse um, alumni database here at the office, and that's something that everyone gets access to. These are all people who have said, yes, I'm willing to help, and that's a tremendous resource when you're trying to break into the industry. The vast majority. So about six months after graduation, at least 80% are working. 